here at the Kinefinity booth with Michelle, checking out some of your products. Now, um, I'm familiar with Kinefinity cameras. I've seen them online. I've never actually interacted with them. So uh, tell me a little bit about the Kinemax. All right, the Kinemax is a 6K RAW camera. It can shoot 4K up to 100 frames per second and also um, different other resolutions and frame rates. Um, it, it processes and records all internally, so you don't need external recorders or anything. It does that on um, non-proprietary 2.5 inch SSDs, which go uh, right in here. Another feature that we added compared to the Mini is an integrated battery plate, which, um, which makes it, uh, the ergonomics much better. We have uh, access to all the most important functions directly from outside, from the left side, so that the cameraman himself can actually uh, walk around on it. He doesn't need an assistant. So this is a one-man band um, camera, 6K RAW. Um, the codex we use is Cineform, Cinema DNG, and Kino RAW, which is their own codec. Kino RAW codec is a com lossless compressed codec 3 to 1. Um, and it, uh, with the, the software that they provide, which is called Kinestation, you can transcode it back to Cinema DNG, Cineform, or later ProRes, and uh, maybe H.264. And it does all that at the same time as it uploads to your workstation, so you don't lose any time. So what kind of uh, sensitivity and dynamic range does this camera have? Right, the native uh, ISO is 800, and the dynamic range is 14 f-stops. Then we have a 3K, which is called a golden 3K mode and golden 2K mode, which is uh, announced for the future, which will allow uh, 16 f-stops of dynamic range. Okay. So what kind of lens mounts, uh, what kind of configurations can you use in this camera? All right. Up to before NAB, we had five lens mounts available. We have an exchangeable lens mount here, which kind of looks like a PL mount, but you actually have to add another PL mount to get the, the right flange distance. So we have PL, EF, Active EF, uh, Nikon, OCT19, and B4. And another announcement from this year, which um, has been released, is the Kine Enhancer. So it's an Active EF mount, but with a lens inside, so like a speed booster, it will, um, it will put down the crop factor and add an additional f-stop. This makes that the this Kine cameras actually with EF lenses have a crop factor of 1.1, which makes it almost a full frame camera with EF lenses. Awesome. So what kind of price point does this camera come in at? Uh, just the body is $8,000. And with all the options and maybe a, a small rig, you would come up to 11, 12,000. So you also have, you have, this is the Kine Max, we also have the Kine Mini. Can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Right, so the Kine Mini is the camera that has been announced uh, last year's NAB. Um, from the principle, uh, overall it's pretty much the same. It can only do 4K. It's a little smaller, a little more lightweight. Still, it does everything internally onto SSDs. The user interface is maybe a little bit more simplistic. We don't have an, a monitor. Everything is done through this reel here. Still, we have an exchangeable lens mount system and all the accessories from both cameras uh, fit onto either one. And like I said, this has been shipping for about a year and there are about 400 units worldwide. And the uh, overall feedback is quite positive. And what would be the price difference then for these two units? This one, the body is 3,500 and ready to shoot it's about 5,000, 6,000. And for more information, where can people go to get to learn more about these cameras, see some footage, and, and be able to purchase one? All right, so um, main information website would be kinefinity.com. If you're in Europe, you can go to hdvideoshop.com, which is the European uh, distributor. We have several uh, dealers in Europe, and there's a, um, a sales rep and might be a, a distributor in the U.S. shortly. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, Michelle. Thanks to our sponsors for making our NAB coverage possible.